Cabinet Pro's automatic assignment of finished ends can reduce the potential for user error that can be costly. This finished end designator, as well as the unfinished end designator used on shop drawings, may be changed to one of your liking at the Case Method Setup screen. Here we are starting with two walls and an empty floor plan. If we select the autofill icon and then select the wall we wish to fill with cabinets, we are met with four different categories that allow us to play a window, door, refrigerator, range, as well as custom cabinets directly from our library to include fillers and corner cabinets. We can also place highly custom base, wall, and tall cabinets that have been split into multiple sections, as well as crown molding, soffits, and continuous countertops. Among the various options we have concerning specifics about cabinets that will be placed, we may also have Cabinet Pro automatically assign finished ends to the cabinets that are placed. Pressing the OK button, we can see the cabinets that Cabinet Pro has placed on our wall in either premium graphics or standard graphics that are now ready to be play, priced and processed with cutlass reports, door reports, panel optimization, and CNC output. We may view the, the locations of our finished ends via the View menu in either plan view or in elevation view. These finished ends, shown in purple, were placed automatically by Cabinet Pro's inspection of the floor plan. When we press the dimension button, our finished ends are no longer displayed by themselves but as part of the dimensioned shop drawing, but only if we have that feature selected at the graphic setup screen. Even without the autofill routine, we can access the Insert menu to place finished ends on the cabinets assigned to any given wall, on all cabinets in the room, or we may remove all finished ends within the room. 